sometimes I hate being right. And while I wasn't going to make a video about this today, I realized by the time, you know, if I wait till tomorrow to do this, uh, I'm behind the ball and I'm, I'm doing the viewers of this channel a disservice. Walmart is canceling all of the Super Nintendo Classic Edition pre-orders. All of them. Not a single one's going to be kept. So if you have one and you haven't received the email from one with the cancellation yet, don't worry. Sometime this week you're going to get the email. In fact, here is what it says. Here's the email you will receive. It says, Thank you for your interest in the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. As you are aware, this is a highly sought-after console that will launch later this fall. Unfortunately, due to a technical glitch, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition was mistakenly made available last Friday evening ahead of the official release date. We regrettably will have to cancel this item on your order. We know that this is incredibly disappointing to you, and we're truly sorry for this mistake. In regards to the cancellation of this item, if you pay by credit card, your card has not been charged. Any authorization holds placed on your account will automatically expire in accordance with the card issuer's policy. If you pay through PayPal or with a gift card, your payment will be refunded when the order is canceled. The official launch date for this item is 929. Please check the product page on walmart.com prior to the date for any updates. I do hope that you'll give us another chance to earn back your business. And these are being sent out in mass. We, I, I've seen reports coming from hundreds of different people at this point uh, about the cancellation. So uh, this is definitely not like a one-off or this isn't like the initial cancellations that went out before where you thought, oh, people, you know, they didn't have the right financial information or um, they were ordering more than one of them and you were only allowed two or four or whatever people were doing. There were some explainable reasons why some people's pre-orders didn't get canceled before what other people's did. And Walmart this whole time was likely behind the scenes trying to figure out what they could do with the pre-orders that went through, right? The, the ones that seemed legit. And they were maybe thinking, well, maybe we jumped the gun with the pre-orders or the technical glitch, but maybe we could still honor these pre-orders. And Walmart right now probably doesn't even know how many copies of the SNES Classic Edition they're even going to have, uh, let alone, you know, if there is a date for pre-orders to go out in the first place. Because normally what a, a company does, like Nintendo, is they make all of the retail outlets that are going to sell an item kind of, you know, hold themselves to a specific street date for when they're going to have these games be available for pre-order. This is just like they hold all these retailers accountable for a street date for when they can actually sell the unit to people in the stores. So, you know, retailers, this is why you usually don't see retailers jumping the gun with pre-orders unless, you know, nin you know, Nintendo or the company in question has given them permission to do so in the first place. You know, sometimes GameStop will hold down pre-orders for a game two years ahead of time, but that's because the company allows GameStop to do that, and any retailer would be able to do that. But when it comes to hardware, generally, there is a date that everyone can make it available for pre-order. Uh, and that date obviously has not arrived, or it might not be arriving at all. Maybe the SNES Classic Edition won't even have pre-orders in the first place. We don't know. But what is clear here is that, as Walmart admitted, this was a technical glitch. This wasn't supposed to happen. Last Friday, the system was not supposed to be available for order, and the fact that they didn't cancel all of the units right away and only canceled the ones that had issues with credit cards or uh, you know, ordered too many of them... It was one of those things where I think Walmart behind the scenes was like, man, we screwed up. We don't want to cancel all these orders and upset a bunch of people. Maybe there's a way that we can fulfill them. Uh, but, you know, after probably checking guidelines and maybe even getting on the phone with Nintendo to try to see how, you know, if they can at least give them an estimate on how many units they're going to have for pre-order, uh, they realized, nope, we, we this sucks, but we have to do it. You know, as the last line in the email it will tell you, I do hope you'll give us another chance to earn back your business. This tells me that Walmart knows that this was a massive mistake. And they, I mean, they admit in the email that we know this is going to upset you. And Walmart knows that they screwed up. This was a, a, a massive screw up that's going to upset hundreds, if not thousands of people, because who knows how long, you know, for, for all we know, when this pre-order went up, there wasn't any limits on it. I mean, they, they might have allowed 500,000 people pre-ordered the thing for all we know. 
until Walmart caught on to what was happening and then shut it down. So we don't know, you know, if there was an internal system limit, if the the thing just got pre-ordered and like crazy, and then eventually somehow Walmart noticed a spike in these pre-orders on this on this item, and they're like, "What's going on? Oh, this item's not even supposed to be available." Uh, someone hit a wrong button somewhere. You know, they might call it a technical glitch. It could it could have literally been a glitch. It could have been somebody inside hit a wrong button. Whatever the case may be, uh, this is obviously upsetting. And I hate, you know, there's a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, I guess. You know, we only had a couple thousand views of the initial report on this. But um, there was enough people on that video kind of putting me down about jumping the gun because, you know, I, I kind of stated that I thought this might happen. And here we are today, and it happened. Walmart's canceling all of them, and I'm, I don't want to be right on this. This sucks. This really, really sucks. Uh, and I know it's all Walmart's fault. There's no one else to blame but Walmart. But it, uh, I'm sorry to anyone who thought they finally, for this time, you know, if they couldn't get the NES Classic, the SNES Classic, they felt secure in their order, um, especially since, you know, it wasn't part of the initial cancellation wave. But, uh yeah, it looks like it, it's happening, folks. It's, it's getting canceled. Everyone's going to lose it. Uh, and we'll just have to stay tuned for any future pre-order information. And you know what sucks is that if there is a street day for pre-orders, would it hurt Nintendo to announce that you could pre-order the system on this day so we know to be ready? Just a thought. I mean, but... Um, anyways, that's all I got to say, folks. I, I'm sorry for those of you this affects doesn't affect me but uh, it could have because I had I did think about pre-ordering it during that time I'm, I'm obviously in hindsight glad I didn't but uh, oh it continues to be a really frustrating experience with these classic edition systems doesn't it folks <laughs> anyways I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime if you like this video you know what to do if you dislike the video hit that dislike button otherwise folks I will catch you in the next one <laughs>